Hey, what's going on guys? Warm Fuzzy Blanket here with Ophelia filming another Sea of Thieves Sunday. Now we did something a little bit different today actually. We decided to go with Open Crew just to see what that would be like and see if we'd have a little bit more success with uh, a few extra people on the team. And actually it went really well. We actually got this guy who seemed to know what he was doing a lot better than us anyway. We had a lot of success with the Order of Souls today. So this guy we were with, he must have had a pretty big reputation with the Order of Souls because we were getting like 12 skeletons per mission here. It was absolutely crazy. So yeah, then we start some general fighting and this guy is absolutely laying into everything in his path, smashing everything up. Me and Ophelia barely know where we are half the time. But I did take the gamer tags off uh, for the purpose of filming this video because I'm with somebody new. It has to be said that getting involved in big brawls and big skeleton bikes and stuff is so much easier when you have a bigger crew. Uh, just that one extra person made everything so much easier from fighting the skeletons just to like picking up the skulls at the end as well. Oh yeah, and if you hadn't noticed, uh, we also did get an emissary flag, which eventually we do manage to fill twice. It did feel like we were fighting a lot more skeletons than normal. Now, I'm not sure if this is just because we were getting more done or there was more skeletons to fight, but I don't know if like the bigger your party, the more skeletons you have to fight. I don't know how true that is. But yeah, we did seem to be dealing with a lot today. Then of course, there's the obligatory golden skeletons. Now they're made out of metal, but for whatever reason, they decided to blow themselves up. But you know, it's all the same to us. So that gunpowder barrel that just exploded there, that wasn't actually us. What actually happened was our teammate ran over to the skeletons, lit the gunpowder barrel, then he dropped it and ran away. And then just like it blew up in time instead of us shooting it, which is a really cool strategy that I've actually never thought of doing before. So me and Ophelia have learned some new things while playing with someone else. What I liked about playing with this guy is we were an actual team. Like I died here and then Ophelia and him were both bringing me back to life, which was really cool that we were helping each other. Another cool experience that me and Ophelia have taken away from this is uh, just generally how you lay your treasure out. Like, he laid his skeletons out on the shelf with pride, whereas we normally just stick all our treasure on the bottom of the boat anywhere. I think this island we're on at the minute, me and Ophelia couldn't find him at all. And we just kept getting notifications telling us that skeleton captains had been killed while we frantically tried to search for him. He did tell us to, like go over here but yeah we just couldn't find them at all at this point i actually spotted an enemy ship when we were still on the other side of the island now when we finally did get back to the ship because obviously we were all a little bit panicked about what was going to happen it was being pursued by a ghost ship so we kind of just waited on the ship until they left uh, and then we just continued getting the skulls that uh, we uh, killed so yeah, we got to the next island and uh, we noticed that this guy was killing things like really, really well. Now it was probably just a skill level, but we couldn't understand how he was destroying things so quickly. So I actually asked him like, how are his weapons so strong, which was a little bit stupid. Probably sounded like a bit like a noob, but never mind. Yeah, so normally we'd be getting killed all the time, but just having that extra crew member really seemed to help. Plus, like I say, he seemed to know a little bit more about what he was doing than we do. So what happened next was actually quite funny and quite clever. You see, we lowered the anchor just outside of the outpost, but he was using the harpoon. Now it turns out you can use the harpoon to pull your ship closer to the dock, which we didn't know about. So he then raised the anchor in order to pull the ship closer with the harpoon, which was quite a good idea and it's something we're going to definitely use in the future. So at this point we had a hell of a lot of treasure. We hadn't quite filled the emissary flag yet, but we had enough treasure to make a nice bit of profit. So I started today's adventure with about 256,000 gold. By the end of the video, I think I made about 100,000, giving me roughly 350,000. Might be a little bit less, but yeah, we made a hell of a lot of money off of this. Now at this point we didn't have an emissary flag, but we hadn't even completed our original mission either. It's just we were given so many skeleton contracts that, yeah, we basically just cancelled the old one and started a new one just to finish the emissary flag. Um, 
But yeah, it really didn't matter because we had so many skeleton contracts. Now, one thing that Ophelia is especially gifted in is spotting things such as barrels and mermaid gems in the water. Now, when this was happening, we had to basically just anchor the ship. Now, I don't think he knew what was going on at first, but we had no way of talking to him apart from, like, typing maybe. So, yeah, communication was a little bit of a problem sometimes. Then we had this big underground fight in the dark cave. We were fighting metal skeletons. I don't think I had any bullets left. I definitely had no blunder bombs or anything like that. And the whole thing was an absolute nightmare. I don't think Ophelia was with us at this point because we spent a long time looking for this guy anyway while he was uh, pretty much doing everything on his own. So this next bit, I started getting absolutely destroyed on the beach while he was fighting the captains. I was trying to deal with the minions. Now I did have uh, a bit of health in reserve, but I didn't have any food I could eat there and then. So I had to like pull back and let my health recover while they chased me, pretty much leaving him to fight whatever was left on his own. But eventually, I did recover my health and I was actually able to be of some kind of use. So these skeletons here, they turn invisible at night. Um, when it's daytime, you can hit them, but when it's nighttime, what you have to do is hold your lantern up because they don't like the light. They then become like solid and you can destroy them. I think this was the first time I properly got destroyed here. Uh, they lit a gunpowder barrel and I got killed, but I think Ophelia told me that she ended up shooting that barrel, which is why it blew up and got me killed. Um, I think our friend also got killed in this fight. But I don't exactly remember how. But yeah, after that, it was pretty much just a case of rinse and repeat. Going between many different islands, killing many different skeletons. We did get the emissary quest, so we, we were not short of skeleton contracts. And yeah, I think we played for about five to six hours in total. So this next part was actually quite funny. I think what happened was Ophelia died, so he brought Ophelia back to life. And then he died, and then I brought him back to life, and then I died, and I think I was the last one to get killed in this situation. But yeah, there's really not much else to say. Um, we had a really, really good time playing with this guy today, and I think Open Crew is something that we're definitely going to try again in the future. If you guys ever want to play Open Crew with us, maybe just drop a comment or something and we can do it that way. But yeah, we had a lot of fun with Open Crew. We learned a lot of new things. I had a lot of technical issues at the start, but uh, I basically have had to drop my graphics a little bit. But apart from that, yeah, we had a lot of fun with Open Crew. And I just want to thank you all very much for watching if you made it to the end. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you have any. And we will see you out on the Sea of Thieves. Take care, guys.